Deep. Today we are going to record how we can share our Android devices screen with our PC or laptop. Uh, our case study is uh, Galaxy Note devices. Okay, let's start. Uh, first of all, you have to install your uh, if you are using a Samsung device. First, you have to install the application named SideSync, which is in the Samsung website. I'm going to do it from scratch. First, go to a glass and go to Google, and after that, SideSync. SideSync, search for this, and uh, you will uh, easily direct to. Samsung's uh, website. Here you can you can choose to download for, for your Windows or Mac. Actually, I'm going to download for Windows. And let's see what what's happening. Uh, here we we will just uh, download our uh, this application and install it in our computer uh, in our uh, computer. Uh, with this application, you can share your uh, info, uh, share your uh, documents, and after and also you can uh, share your screen and use your computer, your mobile phone, your smartphone in your computer. Uh, and you can also see how we can use it. You can use it uh, by, by cable, or you can use it by uh, wireless, and. Uh, um, different specialities we have here. Okay, let's do install this. Yes. Okay, here we accept terms and the installation plus yes. Uh, just consider that you have to install the last updated version of this application. I'm going to pause and uh, repose it after installation. Uh, just before installation, I want uh, uh, again consider requirements requirements for your uh, tablet, your mobile phone, or your computer, uh, which is written just in the original website, and we can check that uh, for, for the same for for the PC which we are going to uh, to run. Uh, if you are using the window, it should have at least Windows XP and minimum one gigabyte of RAM and f uh, at least five hundred megabytes of recommend uh, of free space and screen resolution uh, one thousand twenty four in uh, seven sixty eight and um, required softwares are multiplayer eleven. <laughs> everyone has and direct uh, x9 which is uh, originally is using is uh, running in all the uh, I think Windows 7 8 or 10 uh, also for Mac devices we ha at least should have uh, Mac OS uh, 10.7 and uh, 1 gigabyte of RAM and CPU is 1.8 gigahertz and free hard drive space is again at least 500 megabytes and for the smartphone we should have uh, at uh, in smartphones Android KitKat 4 KitKat 4.4 and in tablet we should have at least uh, Android Lily Lollipop 5 <coughs> and also we have here side sync may not work in some device models so before you uh, it's, it doesn't guarantee that all the devices will, wor will work this, but uh, we're just going to try. So, our installation will take, I don't know why, a little more. Uh, please wait while something is being installed. Okay, it's installed. In this way, we are going to install this application out of SightSync's mobile or a smartphone application in our device. Just click here and get it for Android and Google Play. And uh, okay, you see this here. You uh, check with your compatibility. Okay, you see there is no device for for me because I'm entering with an older account. So I'm just re-entering with my uh, proper account, and I will again pause and resume the video. Okay, guys. As you see, I have entered with my account, with my uh, account which my devices have been registered on that. 
and after that, again I'm going to website and uh, click here or easily I can here search here for sightseeing sightseeing but I need sightseeing 4 let's see what is the default one which Samsung redirects to that okay sightseeing and here I'm going okay oh, hurry man hurry up yes okay here I have this one and sites again it's also that one okay let's see here I'm installing some site sync I'm gonna do that which one I'm choosing my tablet or my uh, US Samsung uh, my uh, my device I'm going to choose my Galaxy Note and install it and here we're going to check is it is it installed on my computer yes it's installed here and we are going to run it okay uh, here sizing is going to uh, run um, device and uh, connect to that one here I can show you my uh, site sync has in, has been installed in my device so I'm going to start it okay also you have to install the new compu uh, computer Okay, here, here the device I want to connect. I have to choose. Uh, here I choose this uh, my mo uh, tablet, and also I have a notification to choose a proper device and accept the uh, connection for in my tablet. I'm choosing. I am selecting OK. And now they are connecting via Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. of course it will take a bit time because we are try, trying to connect with Wi-Fi okay now I have connected uh, my devices together and let's see what's going on okay sightseeing is here I open this and I will pause the video to connect it. Okay guys, as you see for the first time it will take a bit more but after that you can just open it and automatically they will be connected and also you have to run it. Yes, it's if you run it in your computer it says it's connected to your uh, to your device. Okay, so uh, this is my device with my notifications and let's see how it's going. Tablet screen. I'm going to change. Yes, this is my tablet screen. This notification on tablet screen. I can expand it. Yeah, here I have access to fully connected my tablet screen and uh, I can use my screen. I can control my screen here. Oh, wow, where I go. Okay, I can check it easily and Now I'm here. I also I can go and I don't know do something. For example, I can uh, this especially um, exactly my device. I can let me show. You. I can for example run my Instagram and see what's in my Instagram account. So yeah, you can easily see how it is going and. You can easily just use completely your device. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please subscribe for more supporting us in doing tutorials like this.